हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वर्स अटैक हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज व्हाट डज इट मीन बाय टॉक एंड व्हाट डज इट मीन बाय स्पीड नाउ व्हाट डज मीन बाय टॉक एंड स्पीड दैट हैज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिलेशन बिटवीन ईच अदर now many students get confused between these two concepts whether they are same whether they are different but if they are different then how to understand that difference between torque and speed so for that we have to understand the concept between two what does it mean by torque now this torque comes in the concept of automobile and many other mechanical machineries but many of you have seen that or oh, where while or oh, reading the specifications of the two wheeler or four wheeler this particular vehicle has this much amount of torque at this much amount of speed and when the speed is increased at a particular level torques gets reduced so what why that happens that we have to understood by the equations of this two uh, torque and speed and we have to understand the concept also now what is the concept of torque now for first we'll understand that now torque is nothing but uh, as formula if we consider the torque as t and that torque t can be written as force into perpendicular distance now perpendicular distance is what what is the force now torque is related to any component which is us having a rotating motion that for that torque is related and if any component has a rotating motion it is rotating at some speed so how these two concepts are different though it is applicable to the component which is having rotating motion that we have to understand now for example if there is a circular element it is always having a rotating motion now who produces this rotating motion there is some amount of forces which is producing the the rotating motion now electric motor is the source of producing electric uh, rotating motion or an engine is the source of producing rotating motion by the output shaft and then that shaft is connected to other devices where we want that rotating motion now this rotating motion is produced because of some force and then what is the perpendicular distance then which produces the concept of torque now if you see this is the rotating motion on the circular element for example if you look from this direction this is also a circular object like the shaft it is having a rotating motion but what the rotating motion is produced this is produced by a force which is tangent to the circular element for example now to understand this concept very clearly if this particular shaft assume that this is a shaft if you want to rotate it we have to apply a tangent force if you apply a horizontal force on its periphery it will not rotate it will slide by it will slide but if you want to rotate it it has to be a tangent force now this force if it is indicated by f and if it is multiplied by perpendicular distance that is radius in this case then this force into perpendicular distance from the point of application of the force up to the center is called as a torque so remember my words the point to remember is that torque is always for a rotating component and that is always indicated by force into perpendicular distance now again we have to go to the basics of unit force is indicated by newton and perpendicular distance is indicated by meter centimeter or any other unit of distance so the unit of torque is newton meter or it is indicated as joule so this is called as torque so remember my point torque unit is newton meter as it is the product of force into perpendicular distance and torque is always to the component which is having a rotating motion that rotating motion is produced by the force which is applied tangent to the rotating element or the circular element and perpendicular distance is the distance from the point of application of that force 
towards the center. Now, if this is the torque, then what does it mean by speed of that element? Now, speed means if the same component is rotated with this amount of torque, if this rotation is completed in how much amount of time? If one rotation requires one minute, then a speed of this particular shaft is or rotating element is one revolution per minute and hence revolution per minute is called as RPM. What does it mean by RPM? Again this is the unit of speed, RPM is revolution per minute of any circular rotating element. If it completes 10 revolutions within a 1 minute, then its speed would have been written as 10 RPM. So, mark the difference torque and speed are applicable to the circular element, but torque is a different unit and speed has a different unit and its concept is also different. Torque is force into perpendicular distance and speed is how much revolution that particular element is completing per unit time or per minute. So, if it completes 100 revolution within a 1 minute, it will have a 100 rpm, right. So, it is about the unit of torque and unit of speed. The next question comes what is the relation between the torque and speed for an vehicle or any rotating element. Now, as far as torque and speed is concerned, we have written the units. Now, we have to understand the concept. Now, everybody have marked up the uh, uh, unit of power that is power is equal to 2 pi n t upon 60, but this unit is derived unit there is a meaning to this denominator 60. So, if re, n is revolution per minute and t is Newton meter, then it will produce some unit. For example, 2 is a constant, pi is also constant, 60 is also constant. Then if I write unit of revolution per minute, then torque t is in Newton meter. So, to convert this new uh, speed into second, we have divided by 60. So, this unit will be converted into revolution per second. So, revolution is there is no such a unit revolution, it is a phenomena. So, that is why it will not have any meaning in the unit. So, what is the unit? Newton meter per second to the for the power if it is divided by 60. This division 60 is for converting this speed rpm into revolution per second. So, Newton meter per second can also be written as joule per second and joule per second was founded by the scientist watt that is why it is called as watt also. Joule per second is nothing but equal to watt. So, this is the unit of power that uh, we have discussed and we have also created one, of one video on the units of engineering, basic units of engineering in that also we have covered this, but our intention is not to understand the unit, our intention is to understand the difference and comparison between torque and speed. Now, this torque and this speed comes in the formula of power, but if I uh, change the position of this speed and torque on this relation, if I take this torque on the left hand side and keep speed on the right hand side, then there will be relation between torque and speed as torque and speed is inversely proportional to each other. If anything is inversely proportional, that means that if one quantity is increased, other quantity gets decreased. That is why when the speed of a vehicle is increased, it has a less torque. So, what does it mean by that? It is a very simple meaning. So, that is why torque and speed are very important in automobile gearbox. Why it is there? When we put vehicle in first gear, at that time we get less speed, but more torque in first gear of any vehicle. So, first gear may hume come speed milta hai and we get more torque in it. 
Why that happens? Because at that condition the output shaft of a gearbox which is connected to a vehicle, the output shaft of a vehicle which is connected to the wheels is having more diameter. This is output shaft and this is input shaft of gearbox. This output shaft is connected to the wheels. Now, whenever vehicle is in the fast gear at that time the diameter of the wheel is more that is why it gives less amount of speed at that time it gives more amount of torque. Hence, if the vehicle is shifted from first to second, second to third and third to fourth or fourth to fifth gear or top gear at top gear we get less torque but more speed because diameter on the output shaft of the gear is less and as the diameter is less it requires less amount of time to complete the one revolution. So, that is the concept between torque and speed. So, you have to remember that torque and speeds are inversely proportional and torque and speed are both are related to the any component which is having rotating motion. So, this was about the concept of torque and speed we will meet in the next session by for discussing the different concept of engineering. Thank you.